Hello everyone and today we're going to be continuing onward with our navigation through ocean classification. Now if you all remembered last time we talked about the phylum Cnidaria, which includes jellyfish, box jellyfish, corals, and sea anemones. We are now going to talk about the smallest class within the phylum, which is Cubozoa. The class Cubozoa includes box jellyfish and there are around 20 species of box jellyfish within this class. These are also the most dangerous class of Cnidarians and some of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. They provide some really deadly stings, some species such as Chironex flicari providing stings that can kill human beings within minutes. What makes a box jellyfish a box jellyfish is their cuboidal dome, also known as the bell, which looks very box shaped, hence the name box jellyfish. Each of the four corners of the bell has either one tentacle or a cluster of them. This is different from normal jellies because normal jellies have tentacles around the entire circumference of the bell, whereas these guys only have tentacles at the corners, not all the way around the bell. Their tentacles, like all cnidarians, possess nematocysts or stinging cells, which I went over in my previous video on cnidarians. These guys, like I said, have the most dangerous of stings, and some species can, as I said before, kill human beings quite easily. Some species of box jellyfish, such as the sea wasp, can have tentacles stretching 60 feet long, which is very terrifying to think about. In order to make anti-venom for these guys, these tentacles are extracted and they will grow back over time. In Australia, there are researchers that will go around finding box jellyfish, picking them up, and then cutting off some of their tentacles in order to use them for anti-venom. They are typically found in tropical and subtropical regions around the world, and they feed on small fish that are unlucky enough to make contact with their deadly tentacles. Interestingly enough, these cnidarians have well-developed eyes with lenses, meaning that these guys can see, which is kind of weird to think about. Large fishes and sea turtles are actually able to consume these guys, however, as they are immune to the venom, especially leatherback sea turtles. Leatherback sea turtles are one of the largest predators of these guys and they consume box jellyfish and regular jellyfish without any issues. However, sometimes leatherback sea turtles are unlucky enough to eat plastic bags as they do look very similar to jellyfish in the water. Another interesting fact about Cubozoans is that they are actually pretty good swimmers in comparison to other jellyfish. These guys are able to swim fairly quickly, surprisingly, and they do so by pulsating their bell. I hope you all enjoyed learning about box jellyfish and make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed. Make sure to send this video and videos from my channel to all your friends and family so they can learn more about the beautiful wonders in the ocean. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.